President of the Senate and Chairman of the National Assembly, His Excellency, Senator God's Will, Ababio, GCON, the Deputy Senate President, His Excellency, Senator Barao, Jibrin, CFR, Principal Officers of the Senate, Distinguished Senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my Senator, the Senator representing Anambra South, who tragically passed away not too long ago, the very dynamic Senator Patrick Ifanyuba, who we continue to mourn and who is yet to be buried. May his soul rest in peace. The distinguished Senator representing Anambra Central, my brother, Senator Victor Ume, the distinguished Senator representing Anambra North, my brother, Senator Tony Woye, I cannot fail to mention my Senator, Senator Osita Ngu, and of course, Senator Enya Baribe of the All Progressives Grand Alliance. I would like to start today by giving a brief introduction of myself. I am the sixth child in a family of eight. My father, the late Chief Christian Ono, and my mother, Mrs. Carol Ono, who was a college principal. I was a devoted daughter to both, and a humble wife of the late I'm a lawyer by training, and I grew up in a, a rural village called Ngo. I was born in Enugu. It was, I would say, one of the best experiences of my life, because, of course, when you live in the village, it affords you a wonderful opportunity to really get close to the earth and to understand the values that really matter in any society. My elementary school was at Ekulu Primary School, uh, and then I went to the Queen's High School, after which I uh, transited to um, Aquat School in Pontefract, West Yorkshire, in the United Kingdom. And from there, I went to the Cambridge Tutorial College, St. Andrew's College for my advanced levels, the University of Buckingham, where I commenced a degree, combined honors in politics, economics, and law, and then subsequently transferred to the University of Nigeria in Suka, where I obtained my law degree and the law school. I'm a lawyer by training. And of course, I am a mother of three wonderful children. In public service, I served as the senior special assistant to the president on diaspora matters, after which I served 
as Nigeria's ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain and Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations World Tourism Organization. These platforms offered me an invaluable opportunity to engage in effective diplomatic arrangements to really get a sense of what it means to interface between uh, your government and the, your host country, host communities, and of course, as ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, I was able to do that most uh, effectively uh, by presenting strategic platforms for engagement between Spain and Nigeria. And I am honored to say that in the course of my service, I was honored with the award of Africa's most outstanding uh, ambassador which was a vote conducted by the prestigious uh, Dutch magazine called The Voice. And of course, uh, El Mondo Diplomatico, which is a platform uh, in Spain that trails the activities of ambassadors serving in that country, gave me uh, a merit award for my service. At the same time, within the UNWTO, which is the premier body charged with regulating tourism and tourism-related activities, I performed creditably well. After this, uh, to cut this uh, quite short, I have also engaged in other public service. I was the Secretary of the Truth, Justice and Peace Commission in Anambra State uh, set up a commission of inquiry set up to look into and unravel the root causes of insecurity in southeastern Nigeria. And uh, I am also a member of the Governing Council of Chukwemeka Odmebo Juku University, as well as Christian Chukuma Ono College of Education. It is my honor to stand before you all today and to assure you that I am here. I am here because I believe that there is hope for this country. I am here because I believe that if we are all able to come together sincerely and commit to serving this nation with the focus on ensuring that we have peace, that the sky is the limit, for this country. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, very rich uh, resume. Yes, uh, the nominee is ready to take a few uh, questions. But let me start. They can attest to your character, your integrity, and your ability to serve your nation. So uh, let me hear from your maternal home. You see, we said it's Ositango. Thank you. Senate President, in this respect, distinguished senators, I would like to say that my past records speak for me. As ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, I spent 
an entire year in one hotel room because when I got to Spain, the mission building was in such an appalling condition. Together with very dedicated officers, we conducted the massive renovation works, not just on the mission building itself, giving Nigeria an edifice truly deserving of a nation of its standing. The Nigerian Embassy in Madrid that you see today is a product of my tenure in that country. And what was particularly sad about the previous state of the building was that it was very, very close to the Estadio Benabel, which is the home of Real Madrid Football Club. So it was such an eyesore that people who were going to, to the stadium for the various matches would pass the embassy building in its decadent state. But today, the Nigerian embassy in Spain is a magnificent building. Not only that, the residence of the ambassador was also given a facelift and other buildings belonging to our country within that kingdom. It is true that in most missions, because of the poor funding, uh, most ambassadors are constrained when it comes to carrying out uh, uh, refurbishment and renovation works. And uh, this is um, quite unfortunate because a lot of the embassies uh, are actually going through this situation. And I believe that not only does uh, our Ministry of Foreign Affairs have to prioritize ensuring that missions abroad actually reflect the true magnitude of Nigeria's standing in the Committee of Nations. It is very, very important because this is what will give our nation the much needed respect to carry out diplomatic functions uh, in a building that does not truly uh, uh, reflect um, the true standing of any country is very, very limiting. And this has, to a large extent, diminished our standing um, around the world. And I think that this is something that um, the government, um, under this president, in view of the four tenets of uh, the foreign policy thrust, which is uh, uh, democ uh, democracy, development, diaspora, and of course, looking at the fact that most of the people who have to come abroad especially many of you from these hallowed chambers who have to come for exchanges, uh, study tours, etc., will be hosted in those uh, 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 buildings. It is imperative that when you are on those exchanges and you have to meet uh, your compatriots and you also have to meet your colleagues in the host countries, that these meetings are done in respectable um, surroundings. Thank you, sir. Is it the view of the Senate that this nominee be allowed to take a bow and leave? Those in support say aye. 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 Those against say there. The eyes are. Thank, Thank you. You may now take a bow.
The next nominee is Right Honorable Yusuf. Right Honorable Yusuf Abdullahi Atah. 